In the summertime, it will become a situation where the Isha is very, very late and the Fajr becomes very, very early and it becomes very difficult to do both. Can I make the Isha early? On a case-by-case -case basis, um, yes, of course, it does become very difficult, especially in northern latitude areas, Europe, northern Canada, northern US. Um, uh, the, the locations of these places make it that the Isha will enter at least 11.30, 11.15 p.m. and the Fajr will be coming in at about 3 o'clock. I want to first of all say that the opinions that Fajr starts at half past one because based upon an 18 degree calculation are complete false and nonsense. It is not correct to say that Fajr starts about an hour 20, an hour 30 before sunrise which means that it's 3 o'clock. So that's the first thing. You shouldn't be looking at 1 o'clock entry times but looking towards sunrise and just praying before sunrise. That should make the situation a bit easier. It's far better to pray Isha on its time even though it's 11.30. Enjoy yani, the winter and then you go hard at the summer. That's the way that it always works in these countries. You get it very difficult in the, in the, in the summer but you get it very easy in the winter. Muslims have got to you know just yani, you know, firm up a little bit. However, if a person's working and they are under genuine, genuine difficulty, then yes, it is permissible on a case-by-case -case basis for that individual, as long as they go sleep straight away, to combine the Maghrib and Isha at home by themselves. Or if they go to the masjid to pray Maghrib, then after they finish their Maghrib at half past nine, ten o'clock, they go to the side quietly and they pray their Isha immediately after. They go home, they go straight to sleep. Or they go to the uh, at home, if they're praying at home, they pray the Maghrib, they follow that by Isha, they go straight to sleep. Not permissible for you to make it a formal reality in the masjid. The formal five prayers should not be changed in the masjid. Not permissible for you to do this every single day, all the time, you know, willy-nilly, like on a Friday night, Saturday night, what would your excuse be? You're going to get a sleep in the next day, so why would you be combined? And number three, this is not something that you should be uh, treating lightly. Uh, Umar bin Khattab radiallahu always used to warn against the perpetual combining of the prayer. And we've got to be very, very care careful because it does start to open up the door to the kabair, as he would say. It makes a person become very soft and lax in their deen when they keep taking concessions like that. So be careful, be warned, follow the scholars when it comes to this issue. I'm, uh, I write a lot and I have written a lot and taught a lot on this issue. Just need to do some searching and of course in the Faith Essentials uh, portal you'll find me discussing this as well. And Allah knows best. Hey, thank you for uh, watching and subscribe so you can continue to get the rest of the videos. I don't know whether somewhere over here, there, whatever, whatnot. Uh, it's beautiful, this, uh, this series of videos, Faith IQ, and we need your support. And that's by watching it, by sharing it, and then by donating towards it so we can continue to make more videos that deal with more of your issues. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.